Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today I'm behind the camera to bring you a video on how I organize the DVDs in my household. Now, you saw how we organized our Christmas DVDs in December. I'll make sure to put that link below in case you haven't checked that out yet. And I thought I would share today how we store our family DVDs. Now, I'll have one more DVD organization video that I'm going to share with you, but I probably won't do that until this summer because it's over my children's DVD collection and my kids have kind of... Um, They've been in there and sorted through things, and it's a jumbled mess, so I'm going to organize it again for you guys and probably share that probably this summer sometime. Before 2012, we had all of our DVDs in the original containers like this one right here. And what we would do is we would take those DVDs and we would line them up at the bottom of our entertainment center. I think by the time 2012 hit, we had probably six shelves worth of DVDs. We have four big cabinets in the bottom of our entertainment center, and I think most of them most of them were full of DVDs in the original boxes. Now, at some point, I decided that it was taking up way too much space. It's kind of pointless to have all of these packages right here because we really don't need them and we don't use them. So what I decided to do was to take everything out of the original packages and create a system that would work for me and my family. And what I came up with was this system right here. And let me pull it up so you can kind of see it up close. If I don't hit the camera. Okay, let's start out with the box. This box right here is a faux leather, brown leather, just a little, let me see if you can see it, just a small little bin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby back in 2012. And I want to say I paid about $8 for it because I waited to get it until it was on the 50% off sale. So I have two of these. You'll see one of the another one in just a second. And then I have a pink one that you will see later on this summer that contains some of my children's type of DVDs. But this is the perfect option for something like the DVD organization. If you wanted to leave the containers like so, they fit in here perfectly with just enough room on the sides to kind of move around. So I thought this, bo this box was perfect for my DVD organization. Now, for the actual DVDs, what I did was I went to Amazon and I purchased these Atlantic movie sleeves. Like you're seeing right now. Let me show you one that doesn't have a DVD in it. And I cannot remember how many you get in this set on Amazon. I'm wanting to say 20 or 25, but I'm not really sure. I've, these are about four years old, so I'm not exactly sure. But I will leave the link below to the um, spot on Amazon. I checked today, and they still have them. So you can purchase them if you would like to. So what you get is you get this two-little-part system right here. It's got an outer sleeve and then inside is the little DVD pocket sleeve. So it's got two little slits that you can put. Let's say you have um, a special features DVD and then the um, actual movie DVD. It's got two slots for those and then you just slide this little sleeve inside of the other one and you can take the little top and cinch it shut with this little flap. So let me show you how I have one set up. So this is how it looks once you get it completely set up. So let me pull everything out. So here's the outer little shell. And then what I do is I take the little, oh, what do you call these? I guess you'd call this the little um, cover sheet for the DVD. And I just take it and I fold it directly in half. And then I place it inside of the plastic sleeve so I know exactly what DVD I have in the sleeve. And then here is the inner sleeve. So I just took the DVD and it fits really nice and snug so it's not going to shift around. And I just placed it inside of the sleeve and then this inner one 
goes inside of the other one and then I took this little flap here and I closed it off. And it is that simple. And y'all, this eliminated, I mean, look, three, six shelves of DVDs are contained in this one, like half of this one box now. So this has been one of the biggest space savers in my household. I, I can't rave about it enough. So what I have done, I just recently did the labeling because they were just kind of shoved in here and no order at all. And I decided that was not really working. So earlier tonight, I went through all the DVDs and I will show you just from this little small box right here, the DVDs that I am going to be donating. But I just went through and all this is, is a Chamel piece of scrapbook paper that I took one of these little sleeves and I just laid it on top of the scrapbook paper, traced it out, cut it out. Let me put these back. Cut it out. And then I used these little tabs from the container store. And I just placed the little tab on there. It's got a little sticky edge. And then I used my label maker from the container store and put the little alphabet on here. And then I just ran it through my scotch laminator and cut it out. And that is all that I did and it's working great so far. I mean, I spent no money on this project. I had everything already in my household. So now it's all organized. I have enough space that if I want to add to my DVD collection, I can. So I'm very happy with how we have our family DVDs set up. So you might be wondering where my boxes are. So let me show you what we have done with the boxes. Let me set that aside. The second bin that we purchased from Hobby Lobby is right here. It matches the first one. And these sit together in one of the cabinets on a shelf in our entertainment center. So this one right here, it holds basically all the extras. We've got a few little CDs at the front here some lullabies and a few I think this is from a wedding we were in and this is see this I don't even know why we have this needs to be pitched we don't even have a VCR so let's get rid of that now these are all of the extra movie sleeves that we're not using currently but I just keep them in here just in case we decide we want to reorganize our children's DVDs so those are in here and then at the very back let me turn it around at the very back, we have all of these empty boxes. And these are in case we want to travel with some of these DVDs, if we want to donate some of them, we have boxes to do that. So we like to keep a few boxes on hand. All of the other boxes that you do not see in here were um, recycled. We put them in the local recycling bin. We did not throw them away because that has a lot of plastic to get rid of. So. Together, this right here is our family DVD organization. It's working great for us, and we try not to let our kids touch all the DVDs because they tend to kind of mess them up and do not care where they go back. So that's why we have our family DVDs and our children's DVDs separate so they won't want to touch all of these. Now, the last thing I am going to share with you is the set of DVDs that we are going to donate. And this is the first of, I guess you would say, my purging series that I'm going to do this summer. I have downloaded an article that I'm going to go by to do my household purge this summer. I am going to break it up, I think, into two different videos. So anything that I purge right now, I'm keeping it so I can share all of it with you together. So these are all of the DVDs, just from like 30 minutes of looking through this one set that we do not use and we can donate to somebody that will get more use out of them. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 DVDs. And this is just the start of our DVD purge because we have not been through our children's DVDs. And that is how we have our family DVDs organized in our household. I know it's a simple process, but it is probably one of the best storage systems that I have going on in my household. It saves so much space. It's easy to get to. And in case you might be wondering, these don't tear up. I've had these for four years now, and the only thing I have to watch for is if my kids get into them, they kind of bend. 
See, like this one's kind of bent at the top, so I kind of have to train it to go back down. But other than that, they don't rip. They're very good quality. I would highly recommend them if you were looking to um, downsize your DVD collection or if you're trying to keep your current DVD collection, but you want it to take up less space. So I think this is a great storage system. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I have my DVD collection organized. If you like the home organization type of videos, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope y'all have a fantastic week. And until next time, bye.